Hi everybody, this is Editing Class Elitist. What you're about to see is some video that we shot on the Twitch stream um, that we're going to be using here on YouTube to catalog and chronicle some of our PC builds. So this was the first one. I admit it's very rough. We've already done a bunch of things differently that will be upcoming in further episodes, such as the boom has moved out of the shot. We're working on getting in some new cameras with better angles. Um, if you enjoy what you watch, please like share, comment on the video with what you liked, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell so you can find the next one. If you don't like it, please do me a favor. Not only hit the dislike button, but also leave a comment with what can be changed in the description, uh, you know, down below the description so that I know what to work on to make these videos better. I really appreciate your help in trying to make this channel grow. Also, consider subscribing to see if I take your credit, your ideas to heart or not. That being said, we're going to go into the video, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys here still at the end. Well, that was some good research. And again, the time to dry. I think we're definitely going to do the, um, the map. But uh, let's, let's actually do a little bit of fun now, shall we? Now I'm not going to worry about the hammer and the sickle part because I've got some I've got another way that I'm going to do those. Better designing through technology. All right, so If this is all half scaled, that means that is one inch in on both sides. That means the termination point is two and three quarters. Two and three quarters, which would be five and a half, five and a half inches downfield. All we gotta do is figure out how to make that star happen. I've never done a five pointed star that looks like that. I mean, ostensibly, it's just a five pointed star and then make it fat, right? Because it's still five points. So, failure, but you see what I'm thinking, I'm thinking if I start from a pentagram and Whoops. then make the cuts in, it might be easier. I have a plan. It's not a good plan, but it's a plan. My plan is to figure out where I put my frog tape. I'll be right back. I legit have a container that I keep all of my tapes in. 
and the frog tape isn't in it. Bling! Lucky joke. Here we go. Oh, should have mentioned this before. For any of you who would know what this is, uh, this table is in fact the last remaining table from the Philadelphia Battle Bunker. For anyone for whom that is of importance. I have it. I have it. I won't explain how I have it, or why I have it, and the Emperor can take it from me when he comes and prize it from my cold dead hands with his cold dead hands. FOR THE EMPEROR! Why am I cutting using just the tip of an X-Acto blade instead of a whole X-Acto knife? I mean, I don't have the best of answers for that one. Except that I can put more control with less pressure cutting this way. Like, this is one of the most fine detail points of the entire thing. So basically what we're doing here is making some... angle cut pinstriping. So we said the center of the star should be about five and a half inches down.
Wow, I didn't even cut all the way through the cake. That's a light cut. So here's what I'm thinking. I really want to show you guys what this looks like tonight. But I want to give this two coats of paint before I remove that tape. So I will show you in stream tomorrow and I will post it on my Twitters. But as you can see, I think that's pretty good. What do you think? And then, see how these come over on this side? I'm not gonna do it for the top, but for this one here, for this one here, we're going to continue this stripe down across the glass and across the PSU shroud so that the whole thing becomes one unit, right? And then, of course, the back panel will have the map on it, and then that will have the front panel, and then the top will be pretty much just all effing red. like a good Soviet should be. And then, then we get to start playing with acrylic. Because we're gonna have a raised bronzed acrylic hammer and sickle that's gonna pop up off the panel to give it that silhouette like it has in the picture. So, I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of happy with that so far. I think we got the right yellow. Wait till you see, uh, actually I'll show you how the red looks on top of the yellow. Because, of course, I did test. So, this red is how the red looks. Um, over white, but this is how it looks over the yellow. And I gotta say, that's a pretty decent match. Especially because this yellow wasn't done as brightly as this. So I think it's going to be really, really close when we get done. Okay guys, 
thank you very much for being here. Um, this was a test to see how this setup works. Uh, I'll figure out if I like it or not when I go back through and do some editing. I want to thank you all for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, look forward to part two coming up soon. Other than that, boom shadows in my shot. Other than that, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed watching me work through the process of how I try to do these. Um, again, if you've liked the music that you've heard during the stream, uh, that is Gregorio Franco. There will be a link down below on YouTube. Other than that, if you're watching on Twitch, just Google it. Uh, we do these every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, until usually midnight or sometimes later. So if you like this on, if you saw this on YouTube, hit up the Twitter, um, hit up the Twitch, come visit me over on our Twitch channel, and be part of the uh, conversation while we're building these. Anyway, everyone, thank you very much. Have yourselves a great evening, and I'll see you again very soon.